Changing careers is never easy, but how do you go from professional cricket to opening a coffee shop? I spoke to a former Surrey fast bowler to find out. My enforced retirement was actually a good thing because actually in one career I've already had the opportunity to do something that I loved and was really passionate about and once you've experienced that I find it very difficult not to say well why don't I go and do that again and also the funny thing through my coffee shop is what I want to create is that I want to hopefully infuse and inspire other people to go down that road as well I mean I, I do think what spent a lot of time working you might as well do something that you're really passionate about um, don't waste your time doing something you hate like it doesn't matter how much money you earn it's not going to make you happy so um, I want my coffee shop to be an embodiment of that the funny thing is is that half of this is, is my way of imprinting what I really believe it's not just about coffee it's also about actually having a really positive environment which is encouraging people to go out there and hopefully achieve what they want to what they want to achieve and I want to be able to say in five years time I want to be able to say that I did it in my creek career and I did it in a completely different field where I had none of the skills, I had none of the business acumen, I had none of the things that I needed in order to make it in, co in coffee and I want to be able to say well but actually I kept going and even though at times it was really freaking hard I did it and I want to be able to say that I've managed to do that in two different fields and that is, I can't, that is such a big driver for me um, because I'm sat here talking to you now and it makes me feel uncomfortable because I haven't actually done this yet like I've not got a property and it's frustrating me um, and I want I've always seen myself as a doer I'm a doer I get things done and then I'm in a position to hopefully let my actions speak for themselves Tim loved to do just that on the cricket field and is continuing to do it as he digs into the history of where his coffee beans come from I've done a lot of a lot of research into actually the ethical side of coffee, the history, the history of coffee, how it's got into the it, into the country, and all that sort of stuff. But great coffee comes from great product to start off with, great beans, ethically sourced, um, great machinery, and a great barista, and a nice environment and uh, customer service to go along with it. Like you've got to have all of those because coffee is not just about the taste of it, it's also how does it make you feel, the impact it has on your day, and does it mean that you can sit around a table with your friends or your colleagues and have 10 minutes just to yourself. That looks good, but how does it taste? It's actually very good. 